And for those of you who joined us earlier this morning during bath time, I did promise that we would go live <clears throat> out in the aviary once our buka got out here. We wheel his cage out here and then he comes out on his own free will. He absolutely loves to be outside. He's been so affectionate and interested in us today. He's stepped up for us. He's let us give him full scritches. It's as if he knows that he is getting adopted and going home on Saturday. Now how he knows, I don't know, but he's definitely acting different because Risa actually brought it up to me as well, or their volunteer Risa. Hi, Buki. You gonna come and see me? Hi. Where's that bird? There's that beautiful bird. Can I pet you? I'm gonna miss you, sweetheart. I am not going to be here on Saturday, so this is my last day with Buka. Buka is our longest resident, so this is actually really special that he's going home because he's been with us at least 15 years. He was with us when we were a different rescue under different ownership previously, and he's still here. He tends to be a bit unpredictable. He's wild caught. And it's rare that you get a moment where he's just calm and quiet with you, like this. Yeah. Puka's been through a lot in his life. I sense that he may have been taken from the wild when he was a little bigger bird. He's still very jumpy, and he's always looking for a predator. Even in a place like this where he knows he's safe, he still has that natural instinct. And that is usually when we get bitten, is Puka has a lot of anxiety about leaving his cage and we usually get bitten out of fear because he's actually asking us to keep him safe when he does that. Oh, Buka's so sweet. Good morning Lisa. Hi Valerie. So Buka's been through a lot. He was actually in a house fire back in the day, way back when, and he was so frightened that despite the thickness of the fireman's gloves, he still gave him 16 stitches. And I'm sure that was really, really scary and frightening for him. He came here and for a long time, a lot of us were very afraid of Buka. And he's been handled and let out a lot more in the last few years. He is a very good bird, but he's a wild animal. A bit unpredictable. And he's very loud. I think that is also the other reason why Puka hasn't gone home yet. He's one of the loudest birds that we have here at the rescue. He's such a good boy. He's been such a good boy today. It's as if he knows he's leaving. Yeah, and I know that that wind keeps snapping our tarp and it's a scary sound, isn't it, Puka? Yeah, it's scary, huh? Say hi, Miss Valerie. <coughs> our director's watching you. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Oh, you're a good boy. What a good boy. See, I've been hanging out here for a couple hours now. Yeah, this whole aviary is mine. <laughs> now I'm going to preen my feathers. I'm such a good boy. Yeah. So, Buka, everything, if everything goes smoothly, on Saturday he will be going home with Pat, the lady who has adopted from us in the past. She has baby girl and Maxi not to be confused or mistaken with our Max that we currently have here. This was a different Malukan named Max. If you've been following us since way back when, you might remember them. This to me would be the perfect place for Buka to go. It's quiet, and yet he's not the only bird, which was always a worry of mine. I, I, he's been with other birds his entire life, and I think he would be really weirded out if he were the only bird in the home. Right? Are you climbing? Are you having so much fun today? Yeah, are you having so much fun today? I know, Valerie loves you. Hi, Tina. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? So this is the perfect ending to the day. We've been cleaning our little butts off. And in fact, we're still working on the floor out front. Oh, all that dander. But we took a little break so that we could show you how much fun Buka's having. He has the most healthy feathers I've ever seen. His feathers are so healthy. Do you want to come down? 
Oh, he did step up for me earlier today, which is kind of a big deal. And yes, I am terrified, but I give him my arm anyway. And as long as I don't let that fear come through in my energy, he feels comfortable stepping up to me. Now, if I let that fear take over, he will absolutely feel that and he will not feel comfortable stepping up on me because he's gonna think that something is wrong. <clears throat> if I'm nervous, he's nervous. And he is very, very perceptive, very emotional. He definitely feels when we're upset or when we're anxious. I'm just taking a few moments to spend a little time with Buka before he goes home. We are so thrilled that he's found the right spot, we hope. We all pray that it will work out in his new place. He's going with a couple of birds that he has known in the past who already live there. And we are super excited about that. Oh, as you can see, Buka's having just the best day. He is. Are you having the best day, my love? Come here. Come here, sweetie. Let me see you. See, Reese is keeping him company out here. Hey, Buki. Wanna come see me? Wanna come see me? Oh, yeah. Can you come see me? Come see me, sweetheart. I love you so much. I don't need to step up right now. I'm very happy up here. And that tarp keeps scaring the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Is that tarp scaring you? You want to come down? You want to come down onto your house? Yeah, there's a leggy. Yeah. It's that trust. He's a little jumpy because that tarp keeps scaring him. I'm just giving him a... Oh, please don't bite me, Buka. I'm just giving him a little chance to use my arm to get down onto his cage. There he went. Good. Well, he gave me a little nibble there. Not a bite, but just an investigative nibble. Made me a little nervous. But not too bad. Not too bad. As long as I keep my emotions in check. He's usually pretty good. Yeah, he's usually pretty good. Hi, Lisa. He does look so happy, doesn't he? We're gonna miss this boy. We are gonna miss this boy. He's so special to us. He's going to a really good place. It's the countdown to Buka getting adopted. Yeah, say hashtag Buka gets adopted. <laughs> All right, we're signing off, guys. If you have any questions, post in the comments and I'll try to get back to you later this evening. Everybody, we hope you're having a great day.